So today is the start of IAE. It is basically the Interstellar Aerospace Expo. It's basically a big car show, but for spaceships, essentially. That's what it is. And how I'm going to cover it this year is I'm just going to do short little videos talking about the manufacturers. I'm not going to go down the show floor, but I'll show off the hollow tables. And just give my, give my thoughts on some of the manufacturers. And today is day one. It is basically Alien Day. We got Asperia, we got Apoa and Gatak, we got, uh, I think that's, the, and Banu. And that's about what we have right now for alien ships. And alien ships for me hold a soft spot just because they're completely different from everything else we fly. They just look cool. They have uh, their own animations for Quantum. They sound badass. And they're, they're just, they're very, very different. But alien ships don't really get a whole lot of love and honestly they, i think they should i mean we have so many different ships a few minute manufacturers so i can understand that but uh alien ships deserve to have a little bit of love because like because of how unique they are like look like look at the soy sauce right now it's just it's it you don't see anything else like that right it's it's where cig in my opinion can really really start messing with imaginations and and kind of go and fly give us something to fly that you know isn't like the run of the mill almost like space fighter or plane or whatever stuff so alien ships are really cool they really are um it does suck that some of them are kind of like some are the weaker ships in the game like the talon and the car to wall are, pr are pretty paper like they're made out of paper they lack on dps kind of thing but uh they really do move and they're a lot of fly and they have their own unique animations the band of defender in my opinion is my personal favorite when it comes to daily driving just because it's got a little bit of an interior it's got four guns and it's got a size two shield the the soy sauce or the swaylin or whatever how i i don't care how you pronounce it i'm calling it the soy sauce um is a good contender to the Band of Defender, don't get me wrong, but it's very, very weak. Um, and the vertical takeoff is cool. It's just, it messes with my muscle memory, man. And that, and that's, that's the biggest complaint I've been hearing about it. Um, when it comes to the Asperia, or like the, the Vandula Asperia ships, they're kind of, they, they need some love and they really do. And they will get when Squadron 42 comes out just because they they're old essentially you know like you look at the glaive and the scythe that thing looks nothing like it's gonna look like in squadron 42 they don't really update them all that much the blade is the blade packs a freaking punch don't get me wrong it's one it's it's up there with the meta light fighters but this the vandal ships need their love but overall i do really really like alien ships they like I said, they, they hold a special place in my heart because I have a soft spot for them. And uh, they're just, they're, they're just, they're unique. And that's, that's all I can really say. I know I'm just kind of repeating myself, but that's all I can really say. But let's, let's look at the hollow tables. All right, so the hollow tables for Alien Day. Obviously, we have the Raylan here. Kind of teases, or the, the new, the soy sauce. Kind of teases of what the Raylan might act like. I wonder if the Raylan is going to have the vertical liftoff like the uh, like the soy sauce, but I don't know, not a hundred percent sure. I don't think it will. Now, now looking at it, just because of all the exterior cargo, the Raylan is a a blockade runner cargo ship. Sim it's basically the alien hull C, hull B, something like that. It's supposed to be really fast. It's cool looking, but just not my cup of tea. But I will definitely fly somebody's if anybody I know owns one. Over here we have the infamous, the myth of the Banu Merchantman. I will call the Banu Merchantman a myth until we actually see something like, hey, the Banu Merchantman's coming soon. I'm calling it a myth, man. It's been in concept for, what, 10 years? But still a cool looking ship. Oh, again, not my cup of tea. It's a little too big for me. I think the biggest I'll go is a Polaris. But uh, definitely a cool looking ship and I can't wait to see people fly it in the verse. I really can't. This is like a big, a really big cargo hauler. It's a large freight. It's supposed to have at least, I think at least one hangar that can hold a Banu, a Banu Defender, if not two. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
It was definitely a really cool ship. If we actually see it. And then over here we have the alien ship I'm excited for, the Sun Takiai. Screen disconnected. The Sentucky Eye is going to be a Poa's answer to the medium fighter. Basically, their Hornet, their Saber, their Glaive, whatever. This thing I'm really excited for just because it's got four, four size three hard points. It's going to have a good amount of shields. And I'm hoping it's going to be similar to maneuverability as the Cartuol. Obviously, going to be a meter, medium ship, so it's not going to maneuver as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see how this thing is going to perform. So those were the hollow tables again the band of merchantmen is a myth to me i don't care how much we talk about it, how much it pops up in either spectrum or on their development like schedule whatever i don't care until we actually see like a good walk around and like seeing the thing flying in game kind of like how we saw the 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 polaris when they were talking about the polaris during sitcon i'm just i'm with how long it's been a concept i think that ship's a myth the Raylan is literally the the mini the mini soy sauce or the the bigger soy sauce the bigger brother of the soy sauce, um, and I think that's going to be an interesting ship. Just like I said, not my cup of tea, but the Sintuk Yai, the Sintuk Yai, I'm, I'm very curious about. I'm not sure it's going to replace anything in my hangar. I'm at this point, I'm actually going to end up borrowing one for my buddy when it comes out for my first impressions, just because I'm like, it's cool. I'm really excited about it, but I don't think it'll fit in my hangar because I got to very specific idea what i want my hanger to look like and it just doesn't fit so but that is alien day and go up go down check out the hollow tables and check out the showroom for all the, all the cool little alien ships and then i will see you guys tomorrow for ages day Alrighty, have a good one